गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ अजय मिश्रा सर दिस इज क्लास थ्री साइंस पीरियड एंड आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन वंस अगेन चैप्टर टेन मेजरमेंट सो यू ऑल वॉच दिस वीडियो केयरफुली एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड बिकॉज दिस चैप्टर ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन इन पी टी टू पर्सन नाउ आई एम रिपीट दिस चैप्टर so watch this video carefully try to understand and learn keywords of this chapter at your home continue a study because your final exam and i hope you all do hard work and obtain a good marks in final exam so now i am start chapter 10 that is measurement what is means of measurement in this chapter we know about measurement that is our chapter in this chapter we have to learn measurement of length measurement of weight measurement of capacity measurement of time and measurement of temperature okay to so in this chapter we know about these points you also read this chapter in your math subject also so you are familiar to this chapter i hope you easily understood now i start we measure things in order to find out how long a small heavy light or how much a thing is why we need a measurement why we measure anything in order to find out how big the thing is how big how small how heavy or light and how much measurement is the process of measurement is the process of finding out the size or quantity of something it is a process to finding out the size or quantity of something we can measure length weight capacity time temperature and speed we can measure length weight capacity time temperature and speed now measurement of length how we measure length length is measured of how long something is how long something is long ago people used their body parts to measure length like hand span foot span cubit and stride were used for measurement this time in uh, very long ago uh, people used their body parts just like hand span foot span cubit and stride to measure anything they are called non standard units the measurement were not accurate these measurements are not accurate because the size of the body parts are different for different people different people have different size different body part size a small boy he has he has a small finger and we have a little long finger so how can this measured accurate so these are called non standard unit now a unit is a fixed quantity used as a standard for measurement this the standard unit for measuring length is meter that is our standard unit everywhere it, this unit is valid so a standard unit of length is meter we measure a smaller lengths in centimeter the smallest unit of length measurement unit of length is centimeter and meter and longer lengths in meters 
we use rulers in your class you use rulers meter rods in cloth shop and measuring tape like this this is our measuring tape you all know that and this is your ruler for measuring length we use this for measuring length i hope you understand now they are given activities length of this book you measure in because uh, this is a, a small so we measured in centimeter length of your lunch box also in centimeter length of your table in centimeter length of your notebook measured in centimeter okay so this is only measurement of the length in next video we learn about measurement of weight measurement of capacity knowledge check and measurement of time or measurement of temperature okay so please watch this video carefully and try to understand okay and in next video i will also explain measurement of time measurement of temperature and capacity okay have a good day thank you very much